Let's jump in within the moment and study this play by Brandon Ingram and we're just gonna jump right into it. So we're gonna start this play off by having a split catch. Now Brandon does a great job of catching during the split, which already puts him in that position of explosion and he can get downhill right away. So he starts it off with a push cross and he starts to get downhill. By now at the time of his second dribble as he's covering space, he's squaring off with Jarrett Allen in the mid range. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna take a straight step with his inside foot and step at Jarrett during that dribble step timing. And then he can go ahead and cut that angle and inside step. We're not gonna cover that in detail, but that's a huge technique right there to be able to do a straight step and still swing that inside foot around the defender. So if we start off by squaring up with that straight step, now I gotta be able to inside step around as I obviously continue my dribbles. Now very difficult to do this with five dribbles going slow, we're gonna wait for the actual demonstration to actually get to the timing. But as he goes ahead and swings through the baseline, now he's gonna get into a fade. Now, Allen has stayed with him the entire time. He knows he's gonna have a contest, and this is a very difficult shot. So as he's gonna go ahead and go through the baseline, he's gonna turn his inside foot, which I like to call breaking your own ankle. And so by breaking that ankle, he's gonna allow himself an easier way to go ahead and turn around into the shot. Now, he's not gonna square all the way up, He's gonna use a balance kick for that. But that first step allows him a little bit of leverage to be able to start to slow down. And now as he gets his outside foot to that spot of the floor, now he can go ahead and get into the shot. Now even though this is a slight fade, he doesn't lean. Now what he does is he simply uses his outside leg to kick towards the basket. Some might say this is for the purpose of gaining space and maybe that was part of Brandon's thought process, instinctive process in this play. But more importantly than that, this foot is what squares his elbow. With Brandon's ability to get himself halfway around with his feet, it's extremely important if he's gonna get his elbow all the way around to swing his shooting foot towards the basket. And in this case, I like to use something to hold myself accountable too. Now I'm gonna make contact with the box, just with my toe, to give myself added distraction, to make me feel like I have a defender, even though I'm not kicking a defender in the game. And overall, make sure I can focus on what's happening here to square myself up before I finally get into that shot. Now Brandon almost lands straight up and down, so he doesn't have to fade that much. So that balance kick is just part of the balancing process as he pulls off this play. And so if you were to go through all these details, here's what you'd wanna make sure that you have in your game. You have to start with a split catch so you have added explosion. Make sure that you can square off a defender with a straight step, stepping right into their space. Be able to get around them with the inside step. And of course, if you're going away from the basket and have to be able to square in the air, a balanced kick and maybe a little bit of accountability will help you pull it off in the game. seeing a game move so quickly, a lot of times you can't, right? So with a still image, you can really pick things apart. 